Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply fractions. We have plenty of videos about multiplying fractions, but I want to update my content about multiplying fractions. Throughout this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to multiply a fraction by another fraction, a fraction by a mixed number, and a fraction by a whole number. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let's have here the first two examples. We are asked to multiply the following fractions. In number 1, we have 5 over 7 times 3 over 10. Now guys, to multiply fractions, we have a specific rule on how to multiply it. So let's represent the fractions as A over B times C over D. To multiply it, what you need to do is to multiply the numbers at the top of the fractions or the numerators. We have here A times C, that is AC over. Multiply your denominators. B times D, that is equal to BD. Now let's apply that rule in this given example. 5 times 3, that is equal to 15. 7 times 10, that is equal to 70. Now, in operation of fractions, what you need to consider is after applying or performing the operation like multiplication, you need to, you need to think if we can still simplify or express our final answer in lowest terms. This 15 over 70 can be simplified because the GCF of these numbers, 15 and 70, is 5. So we can directly divide by 5 and divide this by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3 over 70 divided by 5 is equal to 14. Meaning, the simplified form of 15 over 70 is 5 over 14. And this is the answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, multiply the numerators. 2 times 3, that is equal to 6 over. Multiply 7 and 5, that is equal to 35, as easy as that. So as you can see, the product of the fractions 2 over 7 times 5, 3 over 5 is 6 over 35. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, here, oh sorry, number 3, we have 2 over 5 times 1 and 3 over 12. This 1 and 3 over 12 is an example of mixed number. Again, mixed number. So here, we will multiply a fraction by a mixed number. But, look at 3 over 12. We can simplify 3 over 12 as 1 and 1 fourth. The lowest term of 3 over 12 is 1 and 1 fourth. So before multiplying it, because it will cause or it will give you a big number. So what we have here is 2 over 5 times 1. This 3 and 1, 3 and over 12, that is 1 over 4. So before you multiply this one, we need to convert this 1 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction. So copy natin yung 2 over 5, then times 4 times 1, that is equal to 4, plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 over 4. Now, let's multiply 2 times 5, is equal to 10 5 times 4 is equal to 
20. Now, as you can see, the fractions or the product, this one, eh? 2 over 5 times 1 and 3 over 12, this is the product. But we can still simplify this one. Their GCF is 10, meaning we can divide the entire fraction by 10 and by 10. Now, what is the answer? 10 divided by 10 is 1. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. Meaning, the product of 2 over 5 and 1 and 3 over 12 is simply 1 half. And this is the answer, guys. Now, let's move on with item number 4. 8 over 9 times 5. Here, the situation is you will multiply a fraction by a whole number. Sir, how are we going to do that? Copy x8 over 9 times. This whole number can be expressed as fraction. 5 is equivalent to 5 over 1. Now we can directly multiply the numerators. 8 times 5, that is equal to 40. 9 times 1, that is equivalent to 9. As you can see, what we have here is an improper fraction. If your teacher will not allow you to express your final answer in improper fraction, you can convert this into mixed number. So how do we do that? First, you will divide 40 by 9. 40 divided by 9 is equal to 4. 4 times 9 which is equal to 36. Subtract this one. The answer is equal to 4. Now, as you can see, here we have here the quotient of 4, meaning that is the whole number. And this remainder 4 will serve as your new numerator over this divisor 9. Copy your original divisor. And this is the given answer, or the answer. What we have is, 4 and 4 over 9. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, I will give you a task. Let's say for example number 5. Multiply 3 over 5 times 2 over 9. For number 6, multiply 1 over 4 times 8. So I hope guys na makulan nyo yung sagot and put your answer in the comment section. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!